Hi guys, just down at in Brighton today, down at the RSPCA Reptile Rescue. I just brought one of our team members down here, Damo. You can see him outside having a roll up. Um, just brought him down here to pick up the their Brazilian rainbow bar. He's got a nice big four foot by three foot tall by two foot deep, like kind of almost hexagon, half hexagony pentagon shaped tank which we've kitted out for it with ceramic, UVB, deep substrate, loads of branches and got live plants and stuff going in. So yeah, I'll see if I'm allowed to film inside. If not, we'll join us when we get back with the snake and yeah, we'll see how it goes from here. all done nice big four foot by three foot tall tank got the guard on the UVB ceramic and stuff we're just pulling the wires through putting the vents in putting the rest of the wood and the plants in the rainbow bow I can go in Do their fucking turban ties. <laughs> that won't make it to the page. <laughs> That's right, you can cut that bit out. Yeah. You're good at editing. Here's your head. Babe, look. This is come up, that's why they call the Brazilian rainbow bird. Look at that iridescence. All that. No, the creamy pastel colour line. Oh, right by her head. She may not appreciate that. Come on, darling. Beautiful, man. There you go. There you go.
What an amazing snake. Look at her, she's so chilled out going in there. It's like, a, it's like the body of like a male anaconda. So look at this chain. What do you say that is? Mm. So it's female, it goes mm. down like condoms. So if so, she's going to get another foot max. Yeah, probably. What? Look at that man, just even with... Look at her straight in her water. She's like, oh. There you go. She liked that, didn't she? Mm. Could do with a little bit more of a better clue. She's going to absolutely love this. Yeah, I'll just get some more bits in there for her and that. Yeah, man, they're watching us so gradually more and more. There you go, she's going. She's found her hide. She's moved the wall bar over and she's made her own hide. Oh, there she is. Look at her face. Such a hypochondria. She's like, wow, this is so different. She looks so happy, doesn't she? She might start becoming a bit defensive now, though, when she's got this place. But the majority of the ones I see, they don't have that white bit on them. And that's what I really like about her. She's got that white. All of them on the sides. They do have those markings, but they don't have a white look. Chill. Even, she's even got a white mark on her head, like a bit like a diamond. That, bro, she's gonna get some curve to her so much. Hi guys, we are back, back from Brighton, back from Damos, landed back at NKM. Just thought I'd show you a few bits that I managed to buy from the Brighton Reptile Rescue to obviously help support them and they help support us with small, uh, a small discount, being rescue to rescue. So let me show you our little haul of goodies and Katie went and picked up a few bits for us today as well. Let me show you. So while well, Fred's finishes one of his treats that he, Katie got him from the Herm Bay Pet Shop, which is our sponsors. I had a beef strip, and he thinks he thinks he liked it. So we got one big bit of wood. There we go. Another big bit, and this big old cool bit of Java. And then we got two of these Exoterra glow domes. Mind that, Bobby. We've got two of the big Arcadia domes with the cages on the bottom for the turtles. And we've got a small Arcadia dome with a cage on the bottom for the turtles. We picked up this little log with lichen on it, a bit of cork bark for Calypso. And this sign is also for Calypso, as everyone knows. He is the world's most dangerous leopard gecko. And Katie picked up, along with some different types of fresh raw dog treats, these two dog beds, which are not for dogs, they're for our big snakes. One of the anaconda and one's for Holly. So we'll get those in tomorrow or tonight. <laughs> and yeah, it's been a good day. Long drive, but good day. Something that Katie had popped in the kitchen and we had forgotten to film that we picked up from the RSPCA Bright Reptile Rescue in Brighton is all these fake plants as well. I mean, a great deal. There's a whole bunch of all small big bits in there. I've got this. Stop licking me, please, ready. Got this pink flowery lily thing. So, yeah, it's going to be make our tanks look a bit better while we wait for the live plants. So, we're just going to put one of these new dog beds in that we got today. Excuse the mess of wires. I had to pull them all out. Just restack these tanks, and I, that is on my next job. Gosh, I hate running these extensions. All of our new premises are going to be run properly. That pile of wires just gives me anxiety, mate. So, we're going to put this dog bed in. So there we have it. She has her dog bed. She's got her wood to climb in the middle. And then she's got her um, other hide down the other end. And the same for Bio. He's got his dog bed. 
I'll have a dog bed down that side and just climb in bits and water in the middle. Just be made safe by Freddy. Is it safe? Is it safe? So that's it for the video! Katie's watching me and I don't like it when I'm vlogging. Uh, thanks for watching. Please, Freddy, don't chew the wood. Oh, you saw me frowning. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and comment below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow our page, the NKM Equine Sanctuary page and the Snapping Turtle Rescue and Sanctuary UK page. And let's hope Damo enjoys his new rainbow bar. I'm sure we all will and you'll be able to see it at open days and uh, it be available for educational talks. And yeah, another cool animal to add to the team. Thanks guys.